Alrighty. So welcome to Mystical Crystal Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my Scorpios for September 7th. No, September 14th through the 21st. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. Yes, I am back on camera. We're going to go ahead and try to switch things up. I feel like I've been constantly just uploading, uploading, uploading. So I want to come on camera. But we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. This is going to be a quick disclaimer. This is a general reading. So everything I say may or may not apply to you specifically. So take everything with a grain of salt because it just might not be your message. Okay. And if you do want a personal reading, definitely check out my website. That will be linked below as well as my Patreon so that you guys can go ahead and get monthly and weekly personalized messages sent out to you. And yeah, all the other just all the other stuff, excuse me, will be listed below. So let's go ahead and start the reading. Okay. And try not to make this one too long. What's going on with Scorpios for September 7? No. September 14 through the 21st. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Scorpios. So first thing I want to cover Scorpios for this week, first card we have out is this blossoming abundance. Um, or actually, I'm going I'm to just tell you guys the gist of what I'm seeing. I'm not even going to go through each of the cards. But what I'm seeing here, just right off the bat with that card kind of showing up, a lot of my Scorpios out there, you guys are going to be trying to be strategic in your movements this week when it comes to manifesting finances. I also get a gist of a lot of you really wanting to improve your financial situation. And if you have been doing the necessary work, there will be some changes that do come in this week. For a lot of you but if you are someone who hasn't really gotten to it this week will be awesome for you to go ahead and attract this abundance that you're looking for okay um another thing i am seeing here as well i am seeing that this week is really gonna call you guys to sit down and sit with yourself about what's next for your life okay if you haven't really thought about that especially like this whole entire year i'm not saying ever in life but especially this this whole entire year if you haven't been thinking about like well where do i want my life to go i feel like this week will kind of trigger that whether that's like a situation or an encounter you may have with someone that may may bring it up or just internally you just want to know like what's next for me and again you're really having to develop some sort of strategy this week okay um, also this may be due to the fact that some of you just feel like you're stuck and tied to the same cycle of the same shit that you just don't want to deal with anymore. Or for some of you, it's more of like, just feeling like, okay, well you're just stuck to circumstances that you just don't want to be in. And for some of you, this could even be you feeling all tied up when it comes to a relationship or connection you may have with someone, not really knowing how to move with that or what direction or not direction, but what decision will benefit you best. Um, especially if there is a level of hostility for some of you guys, there may be some people around you. This could be close friends. This could be not even close friends. This could be acquaintances. This could even be like love partners or a love interest this week that may be kind of hostile towards you kind of defensive or for a lot of you guys, you could be coming off this way, especially if you are just like, like kind of sick and tired of people and the mess that they bring towards you. And I feel like this may be uh, really coming to a head this week here. OK, what I will say is don't allow anybody to take you out of your character, especially if you know who you are as a person. Um, another thing I am seeing as well this week, you will be encouraged to walk away from a lot of things that just really don't excite you anymore as a person, whether this is, um, walking away from a relationship you're just not here for, or walking away from friendships that you just feel like they're just meaningless or a job, what have you, but definitely walking away. And with you walking away, I feel like this is going to help you really like work on yourself so that you guys can actually open up and receive love, especially if you have been closed off for some time 
even in your relationships is very defensive due to what you've gone through. I feel like there is some inner work that still needs to be um, done here. Now, I want to actually pull one of these messages from your spirit guides and then we'll actually get into a bigger spread for you. Give me, well, actually, no, I don't want to do this one. I want to see what's going on with your love life. What's going on with my Scorpio's love life for September 17th? Why do I keep saying 17th? September 14th through the 21st. Scorpio's love life from September 14th through the 21st. So we have playfulness worth waiting for and make the effort. So I am getting a huge sense of you guys really needing to be more open to, like I said, going out there and receiving the love that you want here. I feel like in divine timing, things will arise or situations will arise where you are going to have to decide whether or not you want to still put effort or energy into a situation here. Okay. Also, for some of you guys, somebody may be coming back around and you may be trying to take things to the next level with this person. Um, but again, you will have to decide whether or not you want to put effort into that, okay? Um, alrighty, I want to pull one more card and then we'll go ahead and get into the spread. I want to see what the affirmations are that your spirit guides want you to carry for this week. So what is the affirmation that I do need to pass on to my Scorpios for September 14th through the 21st? What do they need to hear? And we have, okay... So it says, I have the ability to heal myself. So without even reading this, I am getting a huge sense of you guys really needing to deal with those old wounds that are not even like visible per se. Okay, like in a physical sense, more of like what's emotionally going on with you. And with this card, it says you're being, no, you are a divine being and have the tools necessary to heal yourself. Others can assist with this process, but ultimately the power is in your hands. Take the time to identify any emotional wounds and honor your healing process, which starts from within. So really honor who you are as a person, the growth that you can like acquire on your own without anybody else's help, especially if you do have people around you who make you feel as if like, okay, without them, you'll be nothing or that type of energy. Don't feel that way because that's not the truth at all. You have the ability to heal yourself, restore yourself, and even transform into the position you'd like to be in if that's something you really want for yourself. So that is something important that you guys do need to understand. Now, let's go ahead and get into some things when it comes to the week as a whole. So, what's going on with my Scorpio's week for September 14th through the 21st? September 14th through the 21st for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Scorpios. Let me know if you guys like this setup. I know you guys like seeing the cards, but... I miss seeing y'all, okay? All right, Scorpios for September 14th through the 21st. All right, let's get into it. Okay. So first thing I want to talk about is the energy that's at the bottom of the deck. So the cards I'm seeing right off the bat, um, I'm getting a sense that for a lot of my Scorpios out there, there's some sort of ending that's taking place to, again, some sort of situation in your life. For some of you, this could be like you just being at your wit's end, just energetically, not per se an ending. This could just be like, oh, I'm just sick of this shit, okay? Um, you could be having like multiple things that are just really driving you nuts and really just driving to a point of just being like, look, I'm just sick of it. Uh, for others of you, this could be ending a relationship and you mentally trying to move on from it. Um, and also like you mentally moving to a better space after putting a situation on pause, after it being really just tumultuous. And for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with um, a Taurus, Libra, maybe even Aries. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody who you may have kids with, um, who again, either may have cheated on you and you may have intuitively known that and you just, you know... This person may have also told you told you that through communication as well. For others of you, it's just you intuitively knew. Um, but definitely you guys are just 
ending a situation that was just too much for you. And if it's not a certain situation, it's a cycle of issues, okay? Now, coming into this week, I have the Six of Cups. With the Six of Cups, I am seeing that there may be this nostalgic energy you may be stuck in, especially if this is a relationship that ended a while ago or even recently. You could be just looking at all the things you may have done with this person. You also may be thinking about all your past relationships and really just all of your past wounds for some of you guys may be like a... A thing that's like a focal point this week. You could be like thinking about just what you've gone through. All right. You also may be going back and forth within yourself about whether or not you should work things out with a situation um, or work things out with someone from your past, like I said, or somebody who you may have kids with. Okay. But what I am seeing for the past energy, we do have the seven of cups. I am seeing an air of confusion, okay? I feel like emotionally you didn't know what the hell was going on in your love life as far as like the direction it was going in or just emotionally if you still wanted to stay in it or if you just were emotionally even ready to be in a relationship for some of you guys. Um, with the Seven of Cups, this could even be, let me get this, this could even be you being in an illusionary state for some time thinking that like certain opportunities were just like, this that and whatever um but you may have realized that everything that glitters is in gold and with the ten of cups in reverse and the sun card you could be really just unhappy with a situation with possibly a leo or someone where you realize that okay there were some things that weren't really like out on the surface here and for some of you guys as well your like family unit may have like fell apart or somebody who you felt like emotionally completed you um, that connection may have fell apart and you may have had a level of anxiety after, you know, realizing this person made you happy. Now, what I am seeing for the advice for this week, I do have the Queen of Wands clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like if you are dealing with the fire sign, a Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, I feel like you guys can work this situation out with this person, but it is going to take a level of patience and it is going to take a lot of work, especially if there has been some issues leading up to this point or even just some, some emotional issues or wounds that this person has or you may have. So definitely keep that in mind, but there is a chance to work that out. Also, if you are someone who's looking for more in life, there's a need for you to really not sleep on yourself when it comes to your creative endeavors. Make sure that you're really going full-fledged and giving all that you got when it comes to um, manifesting finances from those creative endeavors, if that makes sense. Now, what I am seeing for the obstacle or challenge that may come up this week, I do have the Knight of Wands. With this, this may be that same fire sign I was just telling you about who may be just a little slanted about like you in, in general. And when I say slanted, I mean uh, very wishy-washy, like one second very passionate about the connection, one second not. Um, also, there may be this hot and cold energy you may be feeling about this person if it's not them. Yeah, this may be an Aries, like I said, or a Taurus, Libra, somebody who you may have kids with or somebody who just may have money for some of you guys. I'm just be real. If it's not kids this person got money but other than that what i am seeing for the outcome of this week i do have the ace of wands and with the ace of wands i am seeing that there is going to be an opportunity for you to like i said really work on your financial uh well-being and really for some of you guys you will have some sort of spark or inspiration or some sort of wake-up call that's going to make you realize look i really need to get my finances in order i need to get my money in order i really want to be coined up honey okay and for some of you you will be making strides towards that for others of you there may be an opportunity for you to solidify some sort of connection here possibly with the taurus or maybe a cancer from your past or just someone who you wanted a more stable connection from before okay this may come out of the blue but that's what I'm seeing here, Scorpios. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that I was able to give you some sort of heads up for what to expect for this week. If you did enjoy this, make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And definitely make sure you check out my Patreon and my website if you're interested in purchasing some crystal healing jewelry, um, some readings from me, child, okay? And all that other good stuff. Definitely check out my site, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, Scorpios.